Hi, my name is Mike Lapitan with Wonder Way NorCal. Thanks for joining us on our short video on batch retrieval and historical playback with the Wonderware Historian. In this video, we'll demonstrate some use cases of how you can use batch queries with the Wonderware Historian to retrieve trend information and do batch comparisons, to do time and state reporting, to look at what time your batch started and ended, how long it took, or even equipment downtimes. When did they occur and what were the reasons? how to retrieve batch statistics such as counts and flows, mins, max, and averages against your batch, as well as for maintenance applications, look at the number of start stops and equipment run times. So what do I need in my Wonderware Historian? Well, I can either use a discrete tag to determine when a batch started and ended, or I can use a string tag to get the batch ID, the job ID, the downtime reason, the phase, or the step. So let's look at some, some examples of how we can do this. I've got an in-touch dashboard here, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up my backwash job history. So right now, I'm looking at all the batches I've run today. I can see what time they started, what time they ended, what equipment they ran on, and the job ID. I can use a filter here to filter for a specific job number, and I'll just look for all jobs that start with BW2 and click OK. So this just filters for jobs that start with BW2. Now I can click on one. I can see the start and end time, and I can pull up a trend. So I can pull up all the pertinent tags for that backwash. I can see the start time and end time, the duration, and the process data around that batch. Furthermore, I can look at my string data so I can see how long each phase of my backwash lasted. So I can see all the different steps of my backwash, how long they lasted, and the percent of time I was in each phase. This could be used also for equipment downtimes, downtime reasons. So I could see the percentage of downtimes or the duration in downtimes, uh, or in this case, the steps in my backwash. And I also have a Gantt chart here. I also have analog summary data. So I can see for all of my tags associated with this job, the min, the max, the average, the first and last value, the uptime, downtime, and the number of times uh, on and off. I can also do a comparison trend. So I can pick two different jobs, two different backwashes, and I can compare them. So I can see that I've got one job that started at 4.09 and ended at 4.12, and I've got another job that ended at 3.14 and ended at 3.17. So this allows me to do batch comparisons, so I can really compare run to run. And lastly, I'd like to demonstrate historical playback with the Wonderware Historian. And historical playback allows you to look at historical data as if it were live in the form of a dashboard or an in-touch screen. So here I've got some dashboards that are displaying what appear to be live values, but they're actually historical values. So I'm going back in time, in this case 30 minutes, and looking what the value was 30 minutes ago. And I can also see my trends as if they were, they're playing back live, uh, but really they happened in the past. So I can pick however far back I want to go and I can play it back as if it were live. That's called historical playback. So that's all we wanted to show you today with batch retrieval using the Wonderware Historian and historical playback. If you have any questions, we'd love to talk with you. You can reach us at webinar at norcal.wonderware.com or call 866-WONDER-N. My name is Mike Lapitan with Wonderware NorCal, and thanks for your time.